born to be soldiers. Everything else is irrelevant. You still body? Peace, family. So season two, we're back. And we're going to be looking at the new No Limit Records. So we definitely want to thank everybody that supported the last series. And we're looking forward to getting into some dope exclusives with this one, too. So, you know, a lot of people are familiar already with the old run. By 2000, there was a lot of changes going on with the No Limit camp with artists and producers leaving, legal issues and stuff like that. By 2003, the company had filed for bankruptcy due to different lawsuits and legal issues and stuff. And um, P realized it was more sensible to shut down No Limit and reorganize and refinance the company with profits made. And he founded the new label, the new No Limit Records. So by 2004, the reorganized label had moved to Koch Records for distribution. And the new No Limit also had some partnership with a distribution company headed up by Master P, Got a Music Entertainment. So we're definitely looking forward to looking over some of the releases from this era. Do let us know your thoughts in the comments and some releases that you'd like us to cover. And let's check these ones out. We sold, we sold, we sold, we sold. We gon' rep the new no limit till it's motherfucking over. We sold. We sold. Be the new no limit. Hey yo, it's still me, Young Blaze, still in the mix. You can catch me in the six, Lil one still in the mix. checking out young blaze who made his impact with the new no limit i believe he had quite a short stint and run but he actually had an album cover advertised which a lot of artists didn't even get that at that time so for him to have that there was a bit of an expectation of who's this artist what are we going to hear from him myself i remember hearing him on the 504 boys album and he spit those rhymes like oh it's me young blaze still in the mix you can catch me, you know, that, and I thought, you, you know, okay. He had some lyrics. He was repping the 504, he was saying something. So anticipation was sort of there to hear something, but we never did. 
as I said, we saw the album advertised, but we didn't get a release. I mean, you know anything about this one, Mr. Mixer? Yes, I do know about the Young Blaze album. The Young Blaze album was one of those No Limit albums that was supposed to be released during the new No Limit era and Universal era in 2002, but never was released due to the rising popularity on 504 Boys and Lil Romeo. No Limit's focus on 504 Boys and Lil Romeo is why this album was never released. Okay, well, we know there was a lot of heavy emphasis on Romeo at that time, and as I did mention, he did feature on a track of the 504 Boys, but we know this would be a time where there was a lot happening, I guess, with No Limit, just, um, you know, what we would hear after with some of the breakdowns and stuff for the label, and this would have been pre-gutter music and even all that stuff forming, and um, I believe he had some kind of affiliation with the Beat Boys, he consisted of Sugar Bear and Ease Out Swing because when they released their Beat Boys project, he had a few songs on there. I think he featured on that Beat Boys album. So I think he had something to do with those guys because they was part of that new No Limit production team at the time. So I'm just speculating here, but it wouldn't be strange if maybe they came in and bought an artist with them. I think that time it was interesting, you know, hearing as I said, that new production team and style, it was sort of borderline commercial, but still yeah. had an authentic kind of edge to it. And that's when they had like Currency, Official. I'm not sure if Slay Sean was still around at that time, but they had an array of artists there that was displaying like a new level of lyrical ability and stuff. So it's kind of a shame that we didn't get to hear more. Oh yeah. I would have loved to have heard more from the No Limit roster, such as Young Blaze and uh, Currency. Some of you may remember Young Blaze's album cover being advertised in many of No Limit's albums when they were distributed by the Universal Era. His album cover for his self-titled album was a picture of him standing in a yellow background sporting the No Limit gear, like the headband in a jersey, for example. Well, Currency went on to do big things as we already covered, but Young Blaze, I couldn't really find much more on him afterwards. But as I said, he may have appeared or been a part of the Beat Boys. So um, we got to have something covered. The online.com, your one stop shop for the highest hip hop entertainment. Bringing you the dopest, no limit interviews, hip hop legends, reviews, views, news, and more. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be updated on new drops and content.